Hi everyone, Denise and Ethan here from Red Toys Reviewed and today we're looking at the Call of Duty Collector Construction Sets. This particular set is called the Heavy Armor Outpost number 06822 726 pieces and 14 years or older to build it. Well, from the front of the picture, it looks like a fantastic tank. It looks very realistic, and it looks like it's a good size. The characters look excellent. They look like they are proper soldiers. So, let's turn it around and have a look at the back. On the back, we can see the tank. We can see it comes with three characters. It seems to have some sort of base over here. There's also a care pack. On the box it says it's 30 authentic accessories and we seem to have machine guns, handguns, binoculars, a mine, hand grenades, webbing belts, vests, daggers, canteen, and a host of other things that I'm sure we'll see as soon as we get building. I can't wait to see what Ethan does with this. Okay, so to begin with, we're just going to have a look at the tank and the three characters that come with it. Um, the three characters include Captain John Price, who is part of the Call of Duty game. Um, we'll have a closer look at them later, so I'm just going to move them out of the way for the moment so we can have a good look at the tank. So as you can see the tank is very realistic. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I think it is because I'll probably be wrong and have a whole lot of comments. Um, but it looks fantastic. The camo on it is absolutely brilliant. There is a large cannon on a rotating turret and that goes all the way around and it just it's so smooth it goes all the way around and gets stopped there by the driver's door and it comes back as well with that there's a heavy armor machine gun also on a turret and that's a full 360 this gun can be moved to anywhere on the tank that you might want to place it just move that around again. We have the driver's compartment here. And the driver would get in there and um, drive the vehicle. On the turret, we have storage for jerry cans. More jerry cans on this side. And on the back, another jerry can and then a, a tank with a warning signal on it. It would be gas or who knows. Um, something that would blow up, I'm sure. The tank has eight wheels and it has a track. And it, it's really, really smooth. movement on it is fantastic. I'll show you the back of it. And the I think what's quite impressive about this tank, and I, I don't I haven't seen it very often, is the size of the tank compared to the characters. These are our three figures that come with the collection. With Captain John Price here. He has what looks like a bush hat on. He has a green army shirt and sort of light grey khaki coloured pants and brown boots. 
His head moves, it turns. His arms move at the shoulder and at the elbows. And his legs move at the hips and the knees. The guy in the middle looks like the driver of the tank. He seems to have a crash helmet on and goggles. He has a vest that Ethan has put onto him and he's also in sort of a, a grey army uniform with slightly greener boots. And our last man looks like he's got a gas mask on. He's also in a light grey camo uniform with almost black boots. Once again the arms move at the shoulders and the elbows and his legs move at the hips and the knees. Three great little characters. Also with the tank and the collector's collection comes um, an outpost, a camouflaged outpost. So you get the two little bases, they're moulded and they're at different levels. You get the camo netting and there's another base at the back. So it can be moved around to make anything you want. I've got um, Captain John Price back in there behind the sandbag wall for protection. There are two little holders that his, um, his gun can sit in just in case someone starts shooting at him and he needs protection. So we get the little care package as well that comes with every um, Mega Bloks collector's collection. In this one we've got two machine guns a hand pistol, we have ammunition holders interchangeable with the guns, a webbing belt, two of the characters have theirs on already, uh, supplies that go onto the webbing belt, a walkie talkie, a mine, a spade, a canteen, two daggers, flashlight, binoculars, vests that are interchangeable between the characters as well, grenades, spare magazines and a shield.